why is your chick going out without you? And maybe once a year for a big friend's birthday or something, if you pick her up, whatever, whatever. But truthfully, if a woman loves you, I don't think most men know how it feels to be loved. If your woman loves you, she doesn't want to go out without you. So if a girl's yeah. night happens and my chick were to go out, yeah. she would message me 10, 15 times throughout the night. I'd pick yeah. her up. She'd be home. I would never have a girl go out, not hear from her and her vanish all night long. Sure. Yeah. That's not something that would happen. She would never go to some other person's place to sleep without texting me. That's not something that would happen. Now, when I say these things, people say and come and go, oh, you're insecure. I don't have to enforce these rules. When a woman loves you, she doesn't want to do that. So the fact that your chick went out for a night out and vanished for the night is already a massive warning sign. Yeah. I don't think that's something that should happen. I think she should at least text you and say, look, I'm going here, I'm going there, X, Y, Z. You shouldn't have to really press that. If she ever does, does that once without being told, then you should be able to say to her, look, I'm uncomfortable you going on nights out and staying somewhere without telling me. I want to know where you are from now on. Why? You're insecure. I'm not insecure. I'm a man. If anything ever happened to you, you'd call me. I'd like to know where you are. You should tell me. If she goes, fuck you, I won't ever tell you where I am. Do you have control of that relationship? Are you a man in that relationship? No. Responsibility and authority are linked. This is what most people forget, especially men in the world today. You have to have authority to have responsibility. The reason the captain of the ship goes down with the ship is because he has responsibility for the ship. And the reason he has responsibility is because he has authority for what happens. If he says, man the sails, People man the sails. Mm -hmm. So if something goes wrong with the ship, it's his fault. If he says man the sails and everyone ignores him, how can he be held responsible for what happens upon the ship? He can't. If you want me to pay the bills, if you want me to protect you, if you want me to have responsibility for you, if you want to come to me with all of your problems, then I need authority over you. How can I allow myself to fix all your problems when I have no authority to prevent problems in the first place? So this woman's already acting out of turn. That's the first thing. Second thing, women don't sleep with men they don't really like. Even if they like you only after one night, even if it's a one night stand, to some degree she likes you. So whoever she's fucked, she likes to some degree. She might want your attention back and that's why she's pretending to give a shit to get your attention back. Yeah. But she likes whoever else she's banging. And as a man, you have to have a bottom line. It's hard in the world today. I get it. I understand how hard heartbreak is. I understand how hard it is to lose a chick. I'm not insensitive. It's actually the opposite. I know how hard it would be for any man who's in love with a woman to lose a woman. I would actually argue the point that a man losing a woman is like losing a child because you protect her and take care of her. Yeah. Whereas a woman losing a man is like losing a parent. And I think we're evolutionarily biologically designed to deal with losing parents better than we are to deal with losing children. So I think breakups are harder for men. I get it. Also, the fact that a woman can go out and get a new man tomorrow. In general, it takes time for a man to get a new woman. It's yeah. not as easy. So we spend time lonely. They don't. I get it's hard to lose a chick. I get that breakups are hard. I get it. But you have to have a bottom line as a man. My personal bottom line is fucking another dude. If she's going to let another dude's dick in her pussy, there has to be a point where you just man up and say, no, I'm sorry. This is right. it. That's yeah. it, right? She might, you might break up. She might act like a dickhead. She might disrespect you. She might fucking even maybe date a guy, whatever. That's all forgivable. The second a dick's in her, I think that's enough. That has made me feel better because my I think that's a, I, No, I think that's enough. And I'll tell you why before you carry on. Carry I'll tell you why that's you enough. Talk, you talk. Because once another dude's fucked her, that's the absolute worst a woman can do. Yeah. And what she's saying to you and to the world is she has no fear of your repercussion. She has no respect for you as a man. And maybe she'll come back, but if she doesn't truly respect you, do you want that? You're going to have problems for a very long time. That's my personal view. So I think that's the bottom line. You need to have a bottom line as a man. I believe in loving a woman. I believe in trying to get that woman back. I believe in all that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's simpy to love a woman and try and get her back. But the second she's going to let another dick in her mouth, enough is enough. That's it. You've made me believe that my...